Christmas gift. This show features classic songs arranged by Chip Davis and Mannheim Steamroller. The holidays are about sharing with others, so we invite you to take plenty of photographs to share the memories with family and friends. Please refrain from using flash photography or any light source on your camera, as this will startle the Who's. And now, Universal Orlando asks that you open your heart and enjoy the Grinchmas Hooliday Spectacular. Like the one on your sleeve, there happened a story you must see to believe. Way up in the mountains in the high range of Pontus lay the small town of Whoville, the home of the Who's. Now Arbor Day was fine, and Easter was pleasant, and every St. Pheasant's Day they ate a fizz pheasant. But every Who knew, from their twelve toes to their snout, they loved Christmas the most without a single who doubt. Ask any who, and they'll have this to say. There's no place like Whoville around Christmas Day.
along. <gasps> but the Grinch, <gasps> who lives just north of Whoville, does not. The noise, 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 noise! Curse that Christmas music! It's joyful and triumphant. The Grinch uh, hates Christmas. The whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head isn't screwed on quite right. It could be perhaps that his shoes are too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may just be that his heart is two sizes too small for him. Ah, uh, bah, bah, Says the Grinch, staring down from his cave with a sour Grinch and brown at the warm lighted windows below in our town, where he knows all the who's here in Hoover beneath. Are busy now hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stocking. The Grinch, now with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. And he growls uh, with his three Grinchy fingers, nervously drumming. I must <laughs> find some way to keep Christmas from coming. But how?
got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. Come on, Max. <laughs> He laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and clucked. <gasps> what a great Grinchy trick! With his coat and his hat, I look just like Saint Nick. <laughs> I'm speaking in rhymes, blast! <laughs>
But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. Ho, 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 why my sweet little dot. <laughs> the fake Santa Claus lie. You're not helping. <laughs> There's a light on this tree <laughs> that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home, home, home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, then bring it back here. I'm rhyming again. Uh. Danny Claus? What? Don't forget about the Grinch. Uh, the Grinch? I know he hates Christmas. And he's green with bad breath. And smelly feet with shoes that are two sizes too small. Just because he's different? Well, that doesn't mean he shouldn't get a present on Christmas. Good night. Good night. You kid. Bad judge of character! <laughs> <laughs> bye bye! Hey, you don't love. <laughs> It was a quarter past dawn, all the who's still abed, all the who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled, packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags and tinsel, the trimmings and trappings. 3,000 feet up, up the top of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. <laughs> boo boo to the hose! He was graciously humming. Finding out now that no peace must is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two, and then. All the fools down in Whoville would all cry, boo! <laughs> now that's a noise, grinned the Grinch. I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But this sound wasn't sad, why? This sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was Mary, Mary. without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It, it came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch, thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, needs <laughs> a little bit more. Then what happened then? Well, down in Whoville, they say, that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Now that his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. He still had the presents, the food for the feast, the ribbons, the tinsel, even the roast beast. With a smile in his soul, he descended Mount Crumpet, cheerfully blowing who sound on his trumpet.
all right. I took your sing gingles, your tree glass, your puzzles. I took your pantuglas, your deafness, and your wuzzles. I took all of your presents, it's true. But because of this child's kindness, I bring it all back to you. I'm rhyming again, and I like it. <laughs> Your hands, it's so... I know, hairy. No. Greasy, oily. Do I have a wart? How embarrassing. <laughs> Merry Christmas, City Do. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> Welcome Christmas. Bring your cheer. Cheer to all who's far and near. Christmas Day is in our grasp. As long as we have hands to touch. Christmas Day will always be our Just as long as we have we. <laughs> Welcome Christmas while we stand, heart to heart and hand to hand. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, kid. It's time. Family! I'm sorry. 